So, how to look good on social media. Let's be real, we live in the modern world. Everybody's using social media. There are some people who don't, but I'd say most people probably do. And if you use it right, social media can be the incredible tool for your life. In fact, as a dating coach, and this is a dating channel, advice channel for men, single men, and if you're someone who wants to use this as a dating app, I think it's a very good thing to do so because social media is probably the biggest dating app out there. I mean, you can see everybody's profile. You can see, well, if they make it, uh, they don't make it private. Um, you have this wide access to be able to message people. You can message people super easily now, even if you're not following them. Like, there's just so many ways that you can meet people on social media. And one of the biggest keys to meeting people is having a good profile. You know, having something that people look at and they go, wow, like this guy looks cool. This guy looks like he's got a great life. This guy looks attractive. So how can you do this? Uh, what are some of the rules that you go by uh, when you're doing it? So I'm gonna give you seven rules right now that I go by, that I recommend my clients do. And if you do these things, you're gonna have a great profile probably as well too. So the first rule in looking good on social media is to be you, show you, okay? Don't try and be somebody else. If you're trying to be somebody else on social media, it's gonna come off as inauthentic and it's not gonna make you look good. People can smell inauthenticity from a mile away and the truth is they can smell it from a picture, a video, and all of this stuff. If you're curating something to try and look like somebody else, which admittedly I was guilty of when I first started this years ago, I was trying to imitate other people and it just didn't work. Once I started representing myself, that's when I started to get a lot more attention and I started to get a lot more um, success. So I see a lot of guys coming up, they wanna act like the cool guy when they're not, they wanna act like Dan Bulls when they're just a normal dude. Like, you don't wanna do that. If you're a nerdy guy who loves playing Dungeons and Dragons, who loves going to Comic-Con, show your Dungeons and Dragons board. Show your uh, costumes at Comic-Con. Show those things that you're actually, actually interested in. You'd be surprised. There are a lot of women out there that are gonna be into those types of guys, but they're not gonna be into you if you're not being yourself. That's a for sure thing, so show yourself. Rule two. Be positive. So social media is not a place where you come out with all this negativity and you air your like fringe opinions and stuff like that. It's just not used for that. Yes, you can do that if you want to dedicate a page to those opinions. But in general, I would say, if you're the person that's posting angry political posts all the time, even if people agree with them, they're gonna get tired of it, okay? Imagine if you're hanging out in a group of friends and someone's coming, bring all, oh, the world's not fair, oh, this, that, or the other thing, you're gonna be like, oh, guys, we always have to bring this guy? You don't wanna be that guy. So people come to your page, they wanna be happy, they wanna be positive, so um, you know, bring happiness and positivity. I know the world's not always happy and positive, but try and put a positive spin on everything. That, at least, is usually possible. Three is to use stories. So I'd recommend you use stories, uh, stories, snaps, whatever you wanna call them, basically the short form videos or photos that they kind of disappear. The reason why these work really well is because they tend to be the most engaged with uh, type of content on social media. So if you're posting an Instagram story, that's most often where you're gonna be getting replies from. That's most often where people are gonna connect with you and they're gonna see aspects of your life. And at the same time too, you know, it gives you a chance to post something without it being perfect. You know, one of the things Things that I recommend that you guys do is stop striving for perfection on social media. If you're carefully trying to craft things all the time, you know that you're not going to be getting the best results. So use stories. That's an easy way where you can post things uh, and have people engage with you. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I would recommend that you start sharing in that medium a lot more. Number four invite and engage. So this means inviting people to engage with you and engaging with other people on social media. So if you see someone who posted something cool, you know, comment on it, like their photo. You know, a lot of people like to lurk and you know, they don't make any engagements or connections. You know, that's, it's gonna be less likely that people are gonna engage with you if you don't engage with them. And so if I see a photo that I like, I always like to leave a comment, something positive or something funny. You know, uh, I do that little bit of extra time in, in putting work into it, you know, just so they can get to see me. I don't care if they reply back. You know, I don't care if they like my comment later. Uh, I'm just doing it so they can see it. I'm just doing it to let them know that I saw it and I appreciate it and I liked it, okay? Chances are more people are gonna do that for you if you do those things. Five is to show yourself. So. Yes, I want you to show you, but I also want you to show yourself. You know, if you bought some great food, rather than just posting the food all the time, maybe put yourself in the in, in the photo occasionally, okay? If people are following your page, they want to see you. You don't have to post it all the time if you're worried about being seen as narcissistic, that's okay, but occasionally put your photo in that. You know, if people are following your page, like I said, you know, that hopefully they're gonna be able to see you every now and then. So, um, they've done studies on this, and you know, they show that most often, if you put yourself in the photo, it's gonna get a lot more 
engagement, a lot more likes, a lot more whatever. And likes are not a good, you know, perfect ratio to decide if a, a photo is a good photo. Uh, but everything tends to increase if you put yourself in it. Again, it doesn't have to be every time, but you know, occasionally uh, I would like you to put yourself in the photo. Okay, six is to hire someone who's a professional, right? So you want to have, you want to show yourself. You don't want it to always be perfect. So like, I'm encouraging you to post more but you do want to have some photos that look really good, you know? Like have at least five great looking photos or if somebody looks at the photo, they're like, wow, I can't believe that's you. So you want to have a few of these photos to, to look good. I'm not saying you edit or use the apps where they you know, make you look 10 years younger and it's artificial and it's not real. Again, don't be fake, but have a good looking photo. And if you hire a professional, they're gonna make you look great. What you're looking for is you're looking for a series of photos that if a woman's dating you, she can show her friends. Because she's dating you, she's probably going to be sharing your Instagram with somebody. She might even share your Instagram before she meets you, <laughs> you know? Okay, people talk, people want to have a set of photos where if they look at them, they can make a good impression on somebody else. And that way all her, you know, her girlfriends can be like, wow, you're dating this guy, you know? So you have some good photos. Even if you're not a good looking guy, you can still look good in a photo. Okay, and the last one, number seven, is don't always be on social media, okay? Get off the app. It's bad for your mental health to be on there all the time. I know I've given you some instructions to spend a lot of time on social media. I understand it, I get it, but don't stay on there for too long. Put a timer on, try not to be on there. Like you don't wanna be on there for like more than an hour a day, I'd say, okay, if you can. Some people spend six to seven hours on social media, sometimes 10 hours on social media, okay? I have to be on there for my job. I know it affects my mental health if I'm on there for too long. Again, you have to look at social media. People are putting it out as a marketing document for themselves. And yes, I want you to learn how to market yourself better on this channel. It's the whole purpose of why I've started it, but if you analyze it like that, what you're really seeing is that seeing or putting their best sides of themselves forward and it's not rooted in reality, okay? This doesn't mean you kick the whole thing and say, oh, I, bet I don't need to use it anymore, although I would recommend taking a break from social media if you feel like you need it, but it does mean don't stay on there for too long. Spend most of your time living your life rather than being on social media where people are talking about their lives or you know, uh, showing a quick snapshot of it and then going back to their phones all the time, okay? That's gonna negatively affect your mental health and ultimately it's not gonna be a good life that you can show other people on social media. So it defeats the purpose in general. Cool, right you guys? Well, take care of yourselves. This is how you look good on social media. I'm gonna be coming up with more videos about how to use it as a dating app. Uh, so stay tuned for those. If you want more information about that, click one of my links down below so you get notified about my free trainings. I talk all about this stuff. So thanks a lot. Good luck out there.